Okay, I'm hype. I'm hype because I mean, y'all, how cute is this? Like, this is a go to summer look. Like, girl, happy spring. Okay, happy spring. Like, you can see we're rocking the floral today. Like, we are in spring summer mode. And this hair is giving very much everything. So, we are going to do this crochet braid video a little bit differently. And I want to know how you guys feel about it. So, be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think of this style. So, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into the tutorial. The whole thing is going to be a voiceover. So, I'm going to talk about the hair, unbox the hair, all of that. And y'all are going to actually see me get to install the crochet pretty much like start to finish. So, let me know what y'all think about that. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about the voiceover. Do you like me doing it that way? Do you like me kind of talking in the beginning, talking in the end? Like, let me know what you think, girl. Okay, but without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. Okay guys, so we're gonna start this tutorial off with freshly washed deep conditioned hair. I just twisted my hair up and let it air dry overnight instead of blow drying it this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and use an oil to oil my scalp. You can use anything you want, just make sure you use something so that it stays nice and moisturized. Now this is gonna be a half up, half down crochet style. So you just wanna go ahead and section your hair off first. Then I'm gonna go ahead and spray some water around the front of my hair before I apply my gel and my edge control. So for today's style, we're going to be using the Shine and Jam. So I'm just gonna take some of that and put it around my edges. And then I'm actually gonna go on top of that with my edge control. I personally like the Style Factor edge control a lot, so that's what I used on top of this. And then I'm just gonna use my bristle brush to brush everything in. Now for the back part of my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and part it into four sections. So I part it down the middle first and then I part it across and then we're just gonna take each one of those sections and just two strand twist it. So no braiding girl, just two strand twist it and we're gonna do that for each section. go ahead and just oil those rubber bands and then you guys can see I'm kind of just twisting the hair around itself in each section before I apply the small black rubber bands and that's just to get the base nice and tight. Go ahead and take those four and then put one of the black rubber bands around it one time and then you guys see I just kind of folded the bottom of the hair and then I'm putting a black rubber a black rubber band around the top and then I put another one at the bottom and then I'm just bobby pinning each side just to make sure like it the little fold that I made doesn't come undone you guys can see when you look at it from the side how it looks I want to go ahead and thank Sam's Beauty for sending me this hair to review. They sent me the Expression Twisted Up Waterway Fro Twist in 22 inches. And this is the 2X pack in the color 1B. As you can see how long it is. It's super soft, um, really shiny as well. It's definitely a natural texture, but it's not, it's on the silkier side of a natural texture. So we're gonna actually start crocheting the hair in. So of course we're gonna be using a beater. Y'all know I love the beater. We don't do the latch hook over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the beater through a pretty nice size section of hair. Make sure you don't get a piece that's too small. Like you wanna make sure that you really dig in the beater so that the hair is not on just a small piece of your hair or else it will pull and you don't want that to happen 
I would recommend if you guys want to do this style to pick a natural textured hair. For one, it will just blend better with your natural hair if you are natural. And then for two, if you use a silky style, you're going to have to knot the hair a few times. You guys can see here, I'm literally just pulling the hair through the loop and that's it. I'm not even tying any additional knots. So if you do something silky, not only are you going to have to tie knots at least like four or five times, but also you're going to have a little bit of difficulty because by doing the braidless style, you don't have that tight cornrow to be able to knot that silky hair onto four or five times and then like have it stay. With this, you need such a large section of hair so that you can protect your own hair by not using a small section and having it pull. So I honestly believe with the silky style, the knot is just not gonna stay. I mean, I may test one out for you guys in the future, but I wouldn't recommend that you guys pick up a silky style. I would definitely recommend something more on the natural side. And then you guys can see here, all I'm doing is just a regular braid at the top. Now I tried a few different methods um, to get this top part done, but this is the one I ultimately ended up going with. So hopefully you guys can just do a regular braid and that's all we did. And then you guys can see I'm using that small little black rubber band. I just folded the end and then I put the little black rubber band around it, I think like two or three times to just hold it in place. And we're actually going to knot the crochet hair right on to the braid itself. And doing this will actually allow you to still be able to redo the front of your hair. And I'm going to explain how. So as you guys can see, we're knotting the hair onto the braid. The whole braid is going to end up being covered up. You're not going to be able to see it when it's done. I promise you. And you can actually undo your ponytail holder that you have at the top. You could actually undo that and then be able to like spray water, use more jam, do your edges, all that kind of stuff, and then put the ponytail holder back because we're just going to cover the ponytail holder with a piece of hair. So you can always undo that piece of hair and then be able to redo the front part of your hair. Hopefully that makes sense. You guys are going to see how we're going to cover that ponytail holder in just a second once I'm done knotting these individual pieces onto the braid. So you guys can see you have that little loop and all I'm going to do is take the hair and pull it through that loop and then I'm just going to wrap it around and then pin it with a bobby pin like super easy. So you can always just unwrap it and pull it through the loop and then you'll be able to take your ponytail holder, take it out and then redo it. So I think it looks so, so good this way and this is perfect if you have thick natural hair, okay? The other things did not work, girl. You cannot do a big bun at the top of your head if you have natural hair. It's just not going to work. Trust me. I tried. I tried. Okay. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys want to see more braidless crochet styles. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Give the video a thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.